Hi everyone, this is Ugos UM3 with a Android and Linux dual boot image. This uh, little mini PC is based on a uh, Rockchip RK3288. It comes with 2GB RAM and 8GB flash. So now I'm inside Android. So I try to show the top. Yeah. Um, so this is the default. Uh, this is the stock Android uh, launcher. Um, at the top, at the top here, you'll notice CPU usage, temperature, and RAM usage. This is specific to Yugo's image. I won't spend much time in. Uh, in Android, but I just want to show a few things. Uh, first, the storage. So we've got an internal storage partition with almost one gigabyte space and two point seventeen gigabyte NAND flash. So about three gigabyte for Android out of the eight gigabyte flash. Okay, and this one is my hard drive. And I will also show Yugo settings. So this is the geeky settings, uh, Yugo's edit, which shows the CPU load in the bar status and the RAM also. And if you want, you can also show the CPU speed for all cores. So you will see now not much activity. So most cores run at 310 megahertz. If I move the mouse a bit, or I click around, no, it's not enough to uh, increase the clock much. Uh, but anyway, if you are active, it will do like this. And there also a different launcher called TV Launcher, and it's exactly the same as HPH NTV6 because Yugus and Nagrace uh, companies uh, are working together, so they are the same. You are here. So what I will do now, I will go back to the settings. If you want to know more about this uh, user interface, you can check my HPH NT iPhone V6 review. So I will go back to the standard launcher, and I can access the power button here and switch system to Ubuntu. It will take about 45 seconds to boot, so I will show the boot time. Uh, but first I will mention some of the problems I had with the box. It comes with a 5 volt 2 amps uh, power supply. And unfortunately when I connect the hard drive, the RF dongles uh, for my hair mouse and the USB flash drive, the HDMI screen will start to blink. So I replace it by the 5 volt, uh, 2.5 volt, 5 volt, 2.5 amps power supply, and it's working just fine. And oh, I forgot to say, in Android, the temperature now gets very hot, so I cannot run on to two, for example. It will just reboot when the temperature will reach uh, 100 degrees Celsius. In the sample I have, maybe it's an early sample, there is no heat sink, so that maybe that's why it doesn't work. So uh, this is uh, X Ubuntu, the user is Yugos, and the default password is also Yugos. So we can log in. So I have already configured Wi Fi, but each time you have to connect manually. Uh, I have to say this is still a beta version or even alpha version. So, on the first time, also the DNS was wrong, and it didn't update the time from NTP. I fixed this by uh, typing the right commands with NTP update Debian and running resolve conf. I will provide the uh, command lines in the, in the link in my description. All right, so let's uh, go to the file system first to check the memory. 
the available space. So, a file system shows 1.4 gigabyte out of 3.2 gigabyte. That means they shared uh, the flash for Android and Ubuntu for about 3 gigabyte each. And this, the 2.3 gigabyte volume, is actually the Android partition. So this is done. So what I will show uh, applications. Uh, Office. So they have LibreOffice. Let's start it. Create a document. Okay, I use a keyboard. This is a test. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so this one is working and it's starting quite fast, so it's not too bad. And then they replaced, in the first image you have Firefox, but now they replace it with Chromium because Flash Report is much better in Chromium. Alright, so let's go to CNX Software. And it's loading OK. Yes, even some ads that may not always load on other systems. So I'll go to check this post because it has embedded video. Let's scroll down. All right, we can see the video here. Let's play it. So it's not too bad. Let's go to YouTube for full screen and check some details. Okay, this is because I'm buffering. This is my internet connection. Uh, start for notes. So here it starts to uh, struggle at 480p. Before it was probably uh, 360p. This is for ATP and uh, VP9 codec and it's playing but sometimes the sound will cut or will be choppy and not so smooth. So let's go full screen. So full screen it's uh, very bad. So I've been asked to try a 1080p video, but I think I will not. Uh, because even 480p is not working so well. At least in, uh, in Chromium. Okay, let's stop it. Now I will go to Facebook to try some Flash games. So let's go to Candy Crush Saga. Okay, so it will only load up to 67%. Even if I wait like uh, one hour, it will not load further. So I also tried Angry Bird. Which would be another flash game. And it will just say this application is not correctly embedded. Wrong W mode value. So that's why I will give up on flash games and I will exit Chromium for now now I will go to my hard drive to try to play 
1080p H.264 video. Oh no, I can play here. Yeah. Oh no, cancel. Uh, Linaro samples H.264 Big Black Bunny 1080p. Let's go full screen. All right, and this is uh, application is M Player. It's played with M Player, but software decode. And it's not too bad. Okay, so I ran out of space <laughs> on my uh, camera. So the 1080p video is working well. Uh, so now let's try. Hey. Let's try uh, 4K video just to make sure it's not hardware decode. Uh, I think Sintel will do. Okay, this is one for A. Now the video is playing. So 4K videos, it also must be H.264, uh, so you cannot handle it as expected. And find uh, another uh, short test uh, will be, be, ah yes, I have installed ES to gear. This is a command line tool to test OpenGL ES. So it's not installed but just to make sure it won't, it won't even fall back to software. It will just say uh, DRI2 failed to authenticate. This is a libEGL warning. So let's say now you turn off the power. Uh, next time you boot it will go in Linux. But if you want to switch to uh, Android, or maybe first I just go through all the accessories pre-installed. I hope it can be seen on the monitor and with the camera. So mainly LibreOffice and Chromium are the most interesting uh, options, and they also have a scale screen of application. Oh, and that's not working. I was supposed to be able to scale the screen. And then you can click on Reboot to Android. And then it will open a terminal asking you to input the password. You goose. And then you can be patient. All right. And this is a boot logo. And we will be back to Android very soon. All right, that's it. That's all for today. I will try to turn off, power off. Okay, it's rebooting, so no power off. All right, that's all for today. Bye-bye.